Alright, this is an update of some of the Canadian stuff I got with this last collection. There's some of the small scents starting in 1910. So, yeah. They're pretty nice. Got the nickels starting in nineteen ten, I think nineteen twenty two. Okay, some of these are pretty clean. I think that uh, I might be getting some of these graded. Especially the 1957 and on. Very clean and very brilliant. I have some Canadian dimes with really heavy toning. It's not easy to see. Actually, a spectacular coin. Same thing with the one above. I have to work on that with my photos. Some pretty nice stuff. Look at the color on that. Okay. Just amazing color. It's a, at least mid mint state. Lots of toning. So one thing about being in these albums for 30, 40 years is the toning really is apparent especially on the Canadian stuff, much more so than the U.S. All right, oh, <clears throat> one more thing here. Definitely not Canadian. This is a pretty cool piece. Tokyo 1964 Olympics. I forget just how much silver's in this. I know it's not a whole bunch, but these are really high grade, beautiful, beautiful coins. And these are the ones he had packed with all the cotton. He has lots of sealed rolls of it. So I think I counted 160 or 180 of them. So pretty cool. Here. There's a against a nickel. So I call it quarter sized. Let's go down to the quarters. Yep, quarter size. Pretty cool coins. If you have any questions, I may not be able to answer on these.
I know a little bit on the Canadian, but not much. This is probably most of it. I think I've sold the rest of it. There is $200 face of rolled coins for Canadian. Mostly quarters. So, thanks a lot.